Here are some of the best apps to use with Apple standby mode and turn your iPhone into a super useful smart display. Before I get into all this, if you want to keep up to date with the latest Apple news and reviews, hit that subscribe button. Standby mode first arrived on iPhone with iOS 17. In this video, I'll go into how it works before going into my favorite apps. There are three requirements for standby mode. You must be running at least iOS 17. Your phone must be stationary and in horizontal mode, and it must be charging. The easiest way to use it is just to horizontally place your iPhone on a MagSafe or Qi2 charging stand. It will just instantly turn on for you. But to be clear, you don't need to be using a magnetic charger. As long as the phone is horizontal and receiving power, even from a cable, standby mode will turn on. Something else that isn't a requirement, but does improve the experience, is an always on display. If you have that, you can go into settings, standby, and tell your phone display to stay on all the time. I would very much recommend this, and it's something that I get asked about all the time. If you want to learn more about setting up standby mode and how it works, check out the video that I've linked here, where I go into all of that, including how you can have your widgets automatically change based on what it thinks is most important. For now, let's get into the apps. Starting out with a cute one, Pixel Pals. Notably, I'd recommend the actual Pixel Pals created by Christian Selleck and not any of the copycat ones there on the App Store. It has a bunch of fun features, including widgets and pets that can live in your dynamic island, but it also has specifically standby mode widgets. One will show you the time with your Pixel Pal just hanging out, which is just a nice little digital clock with your pet. The other version is so cute though. It shows the time in a little pixelated sheep that jumps over a fence. You can literally follow a sheep while counting retro sheep. Come on. If maybe you're looking for a weather widget for standby mode, I have to recommend Carrot. It's just a great overall weather app, like top to bottom, I, but I love the snarkiness of the carrot robot at the same time. There's always something new and fun each time I look at it. It's both informative and funny. It's also topical. The quips are perpetually updated, so they'll often be in real time with current events. Of course, aside from like the snarkiness weather forecast, you can also look at daily forecasts as well as radar maps too. For those who like white noise, check out Dark Noise. It's an incredible app that I have recommended for years with a massive catalog of various white noise sounds, as well as the ability to mix and craft your own. In standby mode, you can have a set of shortcuts to instantly start playing one of up to four ambient sounds. These could be to relax, sleep, or focus. Plus, it's just really well designed with really nice interfaces and artwork. Personally, I travel quite a bit, and if you are anyone who flies with any frequency, you must be using Flighty. Instead of constantly worrying about that next flight, Flighty can give you the most up-to-date information right in standby mode. It'll tell you the, the flight info, gate, departure time, and what time it lands. The other option from Flighty for a standby widget is showing your memories and stats which is also fun. Anyone who knows me at all knows I am a huge proponent of the smart home. Sound off in the comments, who has tuned in to my HomeKit Insider podcast before? Please, anyone, just someone <laughs> down below. So yeah, I always keep some smart home widgets in my rotation. Apple does have its stock home app with widget options, which is a good place to start. I use the accessories one, which gives me several devices I can quickly control with a tap from standby mode. Those other ones, including like showing uh, cost of energy, usage, and grid, all that kind of stuff. It's great for on the desk to control your office lights, blinds, or maybe when you're in bed, it can control a nightstand or a headboard light or the window shades. There are a ton of other smart home ones though, like home batteries, home plus, controller, and more. So just find the one that works best for you. 
Finally, we've got iScreen. This is one of those do-it-all widget customization apps that creates all sorts of unique looks for your iPhone. What drew me in though was their awesome bento box-like standby mode widgets. Some of their standby mode widgets I do think look a little bit hokey, but the X panel just looks too cool. It shows you a ton of device specific info like connectivity, time, battery, counter, storage, and more. It's technically two different widgets that you save from the app and then select them, one on the left side and one on the right side, to create this uniform look that's unlike almost anything else out there. Is it really super useful? Nah, no. You don't need to know a lot of these things, like what model iPhone you have at all times, but it just looks so cool, and I dig it. So these are just my favorites, or at least some of them. If you want part two, let me know. And let me know some of your favorites down below in the comments, and maybe I'll use them in the next video. Make sure you subscribe for more of the latest Apple tips and tricks, and I'll see you all in the next video.